Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. Hanging out in Ann Arbor, Vice President Kamala Harris making a stop in Michigan, a third during her time as VP. That tops our news today at noon. Thank you so much for joining us. Kamala Harris getting ready to speak on the campus at the University of Michigan. Let's go ahead and go out live to Victor Williams. And Victor, what's it looking like out there right now? Just a lot of anticipation, Rhonda. Everyone is right here in this auditorium, right at U of M, just patiently awaiting the arrival of Vice President Kamala Harris. We know that she's here for this event on climate change, one of the major issues being tackled by the Biden administration. But this just goes to show you how Michigan continues to be instrumental in terms of politics. Just this past November, President Biden was in Bay City, Michigan, discussing the U.S. economy. But as you guys can see, this is going to be exactly where Vice President Kamala Harris will be sitting moments from now. And of course, we'll have a recap of this discussion coming right up at 5 p.m. In the meantime, we are reporting live at U of M. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor, we'll see you coming up at 5. Happening in less than an hour from now, the man accused of kidnapping his daughter, who he did not have custody of, will be in court to be formally charged. Dash cam video the here dance, shows that dance. father getting arrested and his daughter being found okay. We've learned it was Ohio State troopers who tracked them down. That young girl has since been returned safely back to her mom. Her father is in jail right now in Port Huron ahead of his arraignment, which is set for 1 o'clock this afternoon. Also happening soon, star football player for the University of Michigan, Mozzie Smith, will be sentenced. Smith stopped last year for speeding during that stop. He was found to have a handgun without a valid CPL or a valid driver's license on him. Last month, Smith pled guilty to a misdemeanor. Prices continue to tick down in the U.S. after the newly released Consumer Price Index report in December, and it shows prices dropped slightly, but 0.1% from November. However, overall, the index is 6.5% higher than it was this time last year. This is the last inflation report before the Federal Reserve meets this month. The panel set to decide whether or not to increase interest rates again to further reduce inflation. Airlines across the country working to try to get past widespread delays after yesterday's computer problem at the FAA. There were more than 10,000 problems across the country yesterday. Right now, there's about 1,000 delays, 100 cancellations in and out of the country. Congress and the Biden administration expected to open investigations surrounding the incident. The FAA says a corrupted file, they believe, was to blame for that outage. So far, though, no evidence of any sort of cyber attack. That's the good news. But right now, it's not officially being ruled out. Well, drivers downtown on I-75, you might need to find an alternate route coming up this weekend. In fact, starting tomorrow, the north and southbound lanes of I-75 between Clark and Springwells will be closed. That's for construction. So to get around that area, if you are driving north, head to I-275 north, then eastbound I-96. If you're heading south, you want to take I-96 to 275 and then back to I-75, and it will be back open on Monday morning at 5 o'clock. The snow from last month's winter storm long gone. The impact, though, still being felt in the blood supply. In the affected areas, more than 9,000 blood and platelet donations went uncollected. That's because of canceled blood drives. But that blood is still desperately needed by patients. Today, Local 4 teaming up with the Red Cross and Gardner White to help meet that need at blood drives happening today all across Metro Detroit. Joining us now from the Gardner White store in Warren is Rachel Stewart, president of Gardner White Furniture, and Stephen Trombley, a devoted blood donor. Good to have you both here with us today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Rachel, I want to go ahead and start with you. Why is Gardner White so committed to this cause? Well, I th I'm proud to say this is, I think, our 23rd year of partnering with the American Red, Red Cross and WDIV. And, you know, it's really become part of just what we do. And I think that's, you know, we live in this community. And I think until you until you or your loved one needs uh, needs emergency blood, you don't really value it. But, you know, we, we do and we value it. And I think I'm proud to say we have the second largest blood drive, second only to the Michigan, Michigan State blood battle in the state of Michigan. So now we have a reputation to maintain. We've, we've saved, I think, more than 45,000 lives through collecting blood. We've got to hit 100,000. Yeah, that is definitely something to be proud of. So, <laughs> Stephen, I want to ask you, I know that you're actually hitting a donation milestone today. Tell us about what that is all about and actually what inspired you to even start donating in the first place. 
Well, I was introduced for it when I was small. Uh, my mother was an avid blood donator, and she had over five gallons of lifetime donation. So that's where I got the initial idea. And when I got old enough, uh, all it took was a little encouragement from my work colleagues at uh, the first blood drive at our office, and uh, that got me started. And uh, it's so easy, and it just takes a little bit of your time, and it can help a lot of people. So that's why I started. That's why I continue to do it. And uh, as long as I'm healthy enough to do it, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep coming and and making further donations. Yeah, and I think a lot of folks don't really realize how easy it is. So, uh, Rachel, you know, talk to us a little bit about the extra incentives. We've been telling people that there are <laughs> some extra incentives for people who come out and donate today. How can you kind of you know, sweeten the deal a little bit to get more folks to come out. Well, well everyone likes something for free, of course, Cassandra. So today you can, um, everyone who donates gets a $50 Gardner White gift certificate to use today or anytime. All right, that sounds like a good deal. So Stephen, I'm gonna ask you really quickly before you go, what do you wanna tell people? What would you share with them? Um, you mentioned that it's really easy. Maybe they wanna donate, but they still feel a little nervous about it. How do you convince them? Well, you can just look around at, at, at all the staff they have here. Uh, they know what they're doing. They're healthcare professionals. Uh, if anything should go wrong, uh, they're here to mitigate that. And so, uh, it, you know, they can figure out if you're not able to do donate, but if you are, they're here. They can do it. They do it fast, and they can take care of any emergencies that come up. So there shouldn't be any, any nervousness with, with coming down here and donating at all. All right, Steve, Rachel, thank you so much for being with us today. And of course, thank you for your commitment to the life-saving cause. Let's hope folks get out there today. And if you do want to help and you want more information, you can donate today until 5 o'clock at the Gardner White stores in Ann Arbor, Auburn Hills, Canton, Howell, Novi, Shelby Township, and Warren. You can make an appointment and you can find all the details. Just look for it on the health page at clickondetroit.com. And remember, each donation, of course, can save up to three lives, as we've been telling you here today. All right, taking a live look outside for you at noon on this Thursday. We're in for some clouds and some milder temperatures today for our afternoon, but it sounds like it could be getting colder soon. Let's go ahead and check in with Paul Gross, who is tracking it all for us today. Paul? Yeah, hey, Sandra. We do have some cold air coming in for the weekend, or colder air, and we'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes. But right now, we're living large. Our average high is 32 degrees. Look at this as we start off with uh, four-zone weather here. 42 in City Airport, 42 at Taylor. We have low 40s here at Canton, Livonia over to Metro Airport. 38 though in West Bloomfield 39 over in Mount Clemens in our south zone it's all low 40s here 42 at Carlton 41 at Dundee 40 over at Saline and then in our west zone notice as we get north of Washtenaw County we're now in the mid to upper 30s here 37 at Milford 38 Whitmore Lake and Howell and then in our north zone it's uh, pretty much mostly uh, mid 30s here we do have upper 30s here in Port Huron but 37 at Melvin 36 in Lapeer 37 over in Oxford all right exact track 40 radar showing really nothing going on we we do have to the south here a little area of rain and this is moving in this direction like this so we're going to skirt our far southern part of the area near the state line we're going to basically get a little bit of light rain this afternoon maybe uh, parts of Lenawee and Monroe counties but most of us it's going to be a dry afternoon so we're going to call it cloudy through the afternoon and again possible rain to the south and east temperatures uh, basically low 40s to upper 30s and then slipping a bit we'll drop maybe a couple three degrees through the afternoon so a little cooler later on than it is right now we'll be back to talk about that weekend forecast in just a few minutes all right thank you paul still to come here at noon in the market for a new car try an ev coming up next See how many people are saving a lot of money when they switch to an electric vehicle, according to a new study which is out from the University of Michigan. But first, let's go ahead and check in with Hank. Hey, Sandra, good afternoon, everybody. Help me, Hank, here. We're in Trenton at TV's Deli and Diner here on Fort Road. We're talking to people in this community about the problems that they're dealing with. I'm sure some of you, maybe you're dealing with some of the same issues. We're going to see you live right after the break.